food. Hello. How are you? Today we're going to learn about getting around. This means taking public transportation or talking about how you got somewhere or how you're going to go somewhere. All of the examples um, I've written in the past tense because somebody might ask you, how did you get here? Uh, what? I flew because I have a magic carpet. That's how. Why? Um, we have different ways of getting places. <clears throat> Verbs. You can say, I took a bus, a train, a cab, or a taxi. Cab and taxi are the same. Or you can take a plane. So, with all of these nouns, plane, cab, taxi, train, bus, you're going to use the verb took. There are no exceptions. You cannot say, I rode a bus, I rode a train, it's wrong. Road means that you were on top of the bus or on the train doing some bus surfing. Didn't happen. I hear people say this a lot. How did you get here? I ride car. Wow. What were you doing on top of the car? If you ride something, you're always on top of it. What can you, ri what can you ride? Huh. I can ride a bicycle. So, ride literally means you're on top of something. Tell me what you can ride. You can ride a bicycle, a motorcycle, a scooter, a moped. If you're on top of it, you're riding it. A horse. I go by car. No, no, no. These, unfortunately, are wrong. We don't say, I go by car, or I ride car. We say, very easily, past tense of the verb drive, drove. How did you get here? I drove. You do not need to say, I drove by car, because you're not driving a bus, you're not driving an airplane, you're not driving a train. <clears throat> Very simply, you're gonna say, I drove. Ooh, another thing that I hear people say is, I go by foot. <gasps> one foot, you have one foot? Did you hop here the whole time? You must be tired. <gasps> you go by foot. Wow, maybe you only have one foot. That's cool. You should drive or take a bus. Another thing, I walk on foot. This means that you take your hands and you literally put them underneath your feet and you walk if this is your foot you walk on your hands this is painful I do not recommend this I would not literally want to walk on my hands please don't walk on your feet do not walk on your hands I walk on your foot would be I'm sorry walk on hands walk on feet, you'd be stepping on your feet and you would never get anywhere. You just want to say, I walked. How did you get here today, Ronnie? I walked. Another thing that's really confusing in English, and I understand why, is when to use the phrasal verb got on or got off, when to say got in or got out. So, as an example, <clears throat> we would say, I got off the train. Let's write that down. Or you can say, I got on the train. Also, we use this with a bus. So you can say, I got on the bus and I got off the bus. You don't need to use extra words. Like you don't want to say, I got off on the bus. You don't want to say, I got the train off unnecessary. Please do not use extra words when you say this. You're just going to say, I got on the verb, the noun, or I got off the noun. Train, <clears throat> bus, and a plane or an airplane. So think about this. 
What does or what do trains, buses, and airplanes have in common? No, nothing? No? Okay. A train, a bus, or an airplane has many people. You can think of it as something that is public or very large. So a train, a bus, or an airplane, you have to pay. It's really big and you can fit many people on it. So you're going to get on or get off something that is very big. You're going to get off something that's very big or <clears throat> if it's public transportation, it can fit many people. In and out. So I got in or I got out. You're going to say I got in the taxi. Or you can say same word. I got in the cab. Also, you can say I got in a my or the car. So what does taxi and a car or a cab have in common? Do you know the answer? They are private. There aren't a lot of people in your car or in your taxi and they're small, which means they can't have as many people as on a train, a bus or an airplane. So you're going to say, I got in the taxi and I came to school or I got out of the taxi and I went to the bar. Um, what about subway? What do you think? Do you think subway is big and public or do you think it's private and small? It's big and public. So when you use subway, you say, I got on or I got off the subway. How do you get to work? How do you get to school? Do you drive? Do you walk? Do you bicycle? I bicycle. I love my bicycle. As I told you before, <clears throat> when we use the bicycle, we ride it. So I can say, I ride my bike. It's unnecessary to say bicycle. We can just say bike. And the past tense, does anyone know the past tense of ride? It's a little strange. We'd say, I rode. I rode my bike here today. How did you get here today? Tell me. Bye.